Okay, in this video we're going to discuss a parking brake slash emergency brake for a medium duty truck with hydraulic brakes on it. So on the back of the transmission here, we have a drum that is mounted to the universal joint. So that drum spins with the drive shaft of the truck. Underneath that drum, bolted to the back of the transmission is this brake assembly. It's much like any other drum brake. It's anchored on this side with springs. It's got return springs over here. Inside this mechanism would be a fork that engages into those two slots. And as it rotates, it expands those shoes out and contacts that drum. The actuation is done by a cable and a lever. So here you have the lever coming off. Got a bracket here with a cable. Notice there's an adjustment here to adjust the length of the cable to make it work proper. That cable comes around, generally comes up through the firewall underneath the dash and is connected to older vehicles, a hand lever. That's still the best system that they have. There's some pedal assemblies now that operate the cable, much like an automotive, like a pickup that has a foot pedal. Then you pull a release handle to release it. This is probably the best style that they had. Uh, there's some that incorporate a hydraulic mechanism into the actuator. So there's different styles, but this is what we're gonna be dealing with today here. So this is a hand lever that just comes up under the dash here next to the steering wheel. When it's up like this, the brake is on. When I push it down, the brake is released. So as far as checking the adjustment on it or the reserve travel, you want this parking brake to come about three quarters of the way, almost three quarters of the way up and get like tight and hard to move. And then have to put some pressure, quite a bit of hand pressure on it. And then it breaks over and locks. That's when it's adjusted good. If it gets tight way down here, then you can't pull it hard enough to lock it in. If it turns and locks too easy, and flip straight up. It's not got enough tension and it won't hold like on a hill, it will roll. So about two thirds to three quarters of the way up should get tight and then break over basically, where you have to push on a little hard and then it overcomes this angle here and then gets a lot softer. Now on the very end of this, it has a twist knob here. This one's not wanting to turn probably because this vehicle sits around a lot this knob should be backed out when you do an adjustment as a mechanic for the brake. This little knob is to take up play that occurs from the brake linings wearing down just a little if someone happens to drive with it on. Theoretically, those linings should never wear out because it's just a parking brake. If they do wear out, you've had driver abuse where that somebody left that on and drove or tried to drive and wore it down. This happens a lot more than you think it would. It has a little electrical switch down here that should turn a light on on the dash to tell them that the park brakes on, but uh, I guess people don't pay attention or whatever. But part of inspecting it and testing it is to make sure the light comes on when this is up. On this little Freightliner chassis here, it won't because this switch is actually broken and no longer working. In fact, there's not even a wire hooked here, it's jumped. So anyway, it's got a defective switch, so the brake warning lamp doesn't come on to tell you that the park brake's on. So as the cable stretches or possibly the linings wear down just a little bit, this little knob is for the driver to do an initial or a little wear adjustment without having to get under the truck. So that's why we back this out all the way. When we adjust, say we put a new brake assembly on or a new cable, we back that out. When we come down to here, we would pull this bolt that really should be a cotter pin and not a bolt. It should be a cotter pin with a key in it. It's got a lock nut here. We would take this out and adjust this yoke on these threads 
with the lock nut loosened off until we get the adjustment right and then we hold it and lock the lock nut down. The other inspection of this is for contamination on the linings. If you get under the vehicle, we don't have enough light, but I can feel the linings right here so you can see them from underneath. You can see this lining material. This has to have one thirty second of lining, so it doesn't. It's not really thick when it's new. I don't know if you can tell in this video, but most of this is metal. Right here on the very edge is the lining material, so you don't want this wore down to be metal to metal. It really should never wear out, like I said, because it's only applied when you're stopped. If it gets wore down, somebody's drove with the parking brake on. The other problem this has is there is a seal in the back of the transmission where this bolts on. You can have that seal leak and get transmission fluid on this lining. At that point, it has to be replaced. This one is dry, not had any lining. Contamination with any kind of oil or anything. So this is actually a good brake assembly. As far as for your task sheet on this truck, we documented that the brake is adjusted properly. There's no contamination, but the switch is broken. Therefore, the warning light does not come on. So that would be the problem with it.